Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is more sophisticated criminal malware. If you follow our blog, you might have read the recent post by one of our threat analysts, Mark LaLiberté, where he talked about how attackers actually hacked the Bangladesh bank and used an interbank transaction system to steal over $81 million from the U.S. Federal Reserve. It was quite a big heist. If you haven't read it yet, it's called How Not to Secure a National Bank, and it's a great read. The main takeaway really is that the Bangladesh bank really had no real security. They didn't even have have a basic firewall. They didn't segment their critical servers and thus this swift transaction server was really easy for these bad guys to get to. However, today's story happens to be about new research that comes from a security organization called Bay Systems. Basically, they found the malware that they suspect was used for this particular attack. On an online malware repository, they were able to find a toolkit that had very specific code to look for this SWIFT software. And by the way, if you haven't heard of SWIFT, it's an acronym for this alliance that creates software that allows for interbank transactions. Anyways, this malware is very customized to look for the code associated with this software. When it found this software, it did a number of things. One of the first things it did was actually patch a running DLL to make it so that any sort of transaction would appear valid or properly authorized, which probably allowed the attackers to make it much easier to, to modify payment transactions. On top of that, it actually actively cleaned up logs associated with fraudulent activity. In any case, it's a very interesting research from Bay Systems. You should read that as well. Now, a number of media outlets have talked about, does this mean there's actually a vulnerability in the SWIFT network or their software? The truth is probably not. It seems that the bad guys were able to use this and install this malware simply because the bank had such bad security, it made it easy for them to get malware on the computer, and most people presume that they were somehow able to get valid credentials of a user. And they probably were able to do these malicious transactions by using those valid credentials. Really, the best software in the world won't protect you if a bad guy gets your credentials to that software. So anyways, the takeaway isn't that there's any Anything wrong with Swift's network that we know of yet, but the main takeaway is these are cyber criminals that made very customized, sophisticated malware. You know, it used to be when we talked about advanced threats or sophisticated malware, we're talking about a nation state type malware like Stuxnet, where obviously a big government has the resources and the skills necessary to make a very customized threat that looked for in the past Siemens software and did very specific things to get into nuclear enrichment facilities. But a lot of people thought that kind of malware will never affect me. I'm just a normal business. So that's something that only nation states have to worry about. What you should take away from this story is criminals are starting to get more sophisticated. They are actually looking at the proprietary software their victims use, and they are customizing their malware. So I do think sophisticated malware is something that will affect more and more businesses as time goes on. So what are your takeaways? Well, they're twofold. First of all, you need basic network security. Like Mark said in his original blog post, if the Bangladesh bank actually had basic security, like a, a firewall, even that would have helped them a little. But if they had like WatchGuard's UTM with many different security services looking for exploits and malware, it would have been much harder for those bad guys to actually get the malware on the Swiss server in the first place. On top of that, the new takeaway is realize bad guys are creating more sophisticated malware. You need new types of malware detection like what we provide with APT Blocker to have a chance to catch some of these more invasive and sophisticated threats that are sometimes customized for very specific victims. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.